Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you a very exciting soprano alcoa ukulele, or just about 90% alcoa instrument. This thing is floors me. It is quite amazing how um, how loud it is, but not only how loud it is, but the, the, the quality of the tone of this little humble soprano size instrument. It is <laughs> quite phenomenal. So this is a custom soprano size glyph ukulele. Um, and what I meant by earlier by this being about 90% coal is that the only thing that's not coal on this is really the binding, which is your maple binding, curly maple binding on the front and back of the instrument, as well as the ebony fretboard. But your bridge down here is koa, your headstock is koa, beautiful curly koa all around, some, top sh some really nice stuff um, here all around the instrument, but even on the rarer side, having a solid koa neck and on the back of the headstock. So pretty rare to use koa um, on the neck and the headstock or the back of the headstock because, well, let's be honest, koa is really expensive and you gotta use a big chunk of wood um, to to be able to do an all koa neck along with the back of the headstock. Um, and that's just, a lot, like again, a lot of koa to use. Um, so it's quite expensive to do that. So to have a koa neck is not that common on instruments. So, uh, it's very cool to see it, especially on this humble little soprano. Now this thing definitely packs a punch in terms of how loud it is, but I love how clean the tone is. Usually with sopranos, sometimes you can get kind of, you don't get you don't get too too crisp of a sound. Like you get a bright, happy sound, but sometimes it can be a little muddy with um, the strings, depending on what strings you use or just you know how the ukulele is. But I just love how clean how clean and articulate this soprano is. Listen to that. And usually sopranos are traditionally meant to be like doing finger style, unless you're Her Herbal to Senior, then you just do alien-like things <laughs> on a soprano size ukulele. But traditionally, usually like you strum on a soprano ukulele. But just listen to the quality of the tone. This thing not only is so loud and projects for this small little instrument, but man, it's just such a clean tone. It still has that bright childlike tone that you get from um, a soprano size. But at the same time, you still get that nice warm koa sound. And again, trying to get a warm sound from a soprano is quite hard because you just don't have the, the real estate on the body or you just don't have, you know, having a bigger body means the sound can mature in the sound hole and reverberate and spits back out warmer. But because you just don't have that much you know, room down here, there's not that much space for the sound to, you know, grow inside the, um, and start to bounce around in the instrument itself. So the fact that you still get, of course, again, that, that soprano-like sound, when you listen to that C chord, you still get a nice warm sound out of it. So it's just really, it's really surprising. But when you're trying to do like, Again, just the projection is just really amazing. This thing packs a punch in all the good ways. So let me go ahead and jump right into a sound sample. Let me go ahead and start strumming because that's more the traditional way we'll go about playing the soprano. So.
<laughs> so clean. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> the harmonic. <laughs> <laughs> 